Home wire localization excision assists the surgeon in the removal of a breast abnormality which is not palpable clinically. The hook wire marks the location of the abnormal area and the surgeon will follow the wire during the surgery to locate the particular abnormality. Under the hook wire guidance, only the abnormal tissues are removed. So, this will help to minimize the scarring and also the change of shape or size of breast. Scarring is minimum and the shape of breast can be preserved. So the procedure is divided into two steps. Step one usually happens in the radiology department where the patient will be scanned by the radiologist to locate the abnormality in the breast. The hook wire will be inserted under local anesthesia. So what happened during the procedure? After the skin being cleaned and prepped, the radiologist will scan the particular area. After they find the abnormality, so the local anesthesia will be injected to numb the area and so that patient do not experience any pain during the procedure. The small wire, which is very, very fine, will be inserted into the breast. So the fine needle is inserted. Under ultrasound or stereotactic guidance, the hook wire is inserted into the area of concern. After that, the radiologist will double check to make sure that the hook wire is in the right place. Then, the hook wire will be taped to the breast and patient will be sent to the operating theatre. Inside the operating theatre, usually under general anesthesia, the surgeon will remove the particular abnormality which is in the area of concern together with the hook wire. The wound site will be stitched and covered with waterproof dressing. Pain level is low to moderate and usually well controlled with oral painkiller. Patient might see some bruising near the wound and this is normal and usually will resolve on its own. Patient usually is advised to take a week off work or longer if their work is strenuous. 